Hi, my name's Carlo and welcome back to CMC Markets Trend Tracker Series. I'm going to be analysing three main currency pairs for you that have been very actively traded amongst our client base over the last few weeks. So first of all, let me jump into the Australian dollar chart. Uh, as you can see in the Aussie there, I've uh, put on uh, not only the 20 and 50 EMAs in yellow and blue respectively, but also in purple, the Bollinger Bands. And I'll come to the Bollinger Bands in a moment that are a very effective uh, and useful indicator on your charts. The Australian dollar picture, we had the Reserve Bank most recently hike interest rates by 25 basis points to 4.35% during the week. Uh, and uh, in their statement, they've uh, uh, of course mentioned to look out for inflation over the coming months to see whether there might be another rate hike forthcoming, perhaps in February or perhaps not. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, recent Chinese economic data has been very soft. Uh, and uh, with that, uh, you see the technical picture here in the Aussie. Uh, last week or so, the Aussie tried uh, to push higher, had a very aggressive push up towards that key resistance level, 65.20, and once again failed. That level failed so many times since the middle of August, 65.20. And that was one reason why we could have expected the, RB, the Australian dollar to fail to push higher. And the second reason was, look at the purple um, uh, Bulger bands, prices pierced the upper band and then sold off very quickly. So from a technical uh, viewpoint, two key reasons, confluence if you like, uh, to suggest that prices in the Aussie should have capped out around 65.20, and most likely failed, and it did. So the Aussie has been coming off um, over the last uh, five days solidly. And uh, from here, I advise traders to respect the recent uh, trading range, support 62.85, resistance 65.20. Perhaps look at the lower time frames, the 30 minute chart, five minute chart for trading opportunities. And for the week ahead, uh, focus on US inflation data as well as the Australian employment data later during the week. Next up, the dollar-yen currency pair. Now, what I'd like to say here is that as traders, we should not ignore the dollar-yen exchange rate the currency pair, given that the dollar-yen is one of the most actively traded currency pairs on a 24-hour basis, and especially over the last few years when the Japanese yen has continued to weaken. Why? Because the Bank of Japan has left the cash rate untouched at a negative um, negative rate, minus 0.1%, whereas all other nations have increased their interest rates. So quite a huge divergence between central banks, and that has fueled a very strong uptrend in the US dollar versus yen, as you can see. Uh, and I have here the 20 EMA in yellow and the 50 EMA in dark blue. These have acted as very strong support lines on the way up. Take a look at the dollar yen, how it's bounced well off that 20 EMA, and that currently comes in around 150.20. So despite all the talk of perhaps Bank of Japan intervention, what kind of impact did it have? Not a lot of impact at all. The trend is your friend. The trend is very strong on a daily chart and uh, it is very clear for traders to uh, focus and uh, respect that uptrend. Now, support uh, for the coming week, we have as close as, uh, uh, I like that, uh, 20-day uh, EMA, 150.20, and that swing low point, uh, that bottom of that uh, green recent candle around 149.20. Top side, uh, we've got uh, recent highs around 151.70, but there are only two highs there, two candles. And two candles doesn't make a strong resistance line yet. So the trend is up. I'd expect that trend to continue going forward during the week. As I said, US inflation and Japanese GDP are on the horizon over the week, that uh, uh, important uh, data events. The final currency pair I have for you is Swiss Yen. The reason why I have the Swiss Yen chart here for you is that it's been one of the most popular traded currency pairs amongst our client base over the last few weeks and months. Main reason, Yen has been the weakest currency uh, throughout 2023 and 2022, but also the Swiss franc has attracted safe haven flows most recently due to the Middle East crisis, as well as a Russian-Ukrainian war that has been uh, still uh, occurring over the last few years. Now, the Swiss franc is viewed as a safe haven currency as Switzerland has a stable political environment, a strong banking system, and a reputation for political neutrality. 
A lot of flows have been attracted into the Swiss franc. You can see the strength of that uptrend. I mean, my chart might only have six months worth of data here, but if you zoom out to the last couple of years, the trend remains very, very strong. Now, technically, as I said, uh, we are in a strong uptrend here and prices are around 168 Swiss franc to the yen, close to 30 year highs. I don't know how far your chart can go back, but 30 highs, that's a very impressive uptrend. And there's a reason why we should not ignore Swiss yen or other yen crosses. Uh, and for the week ahead, this currency pair is going to continue to be, be sensitive to geopolitical tensions, an increase or decrease in those tensions. And that's where our focus should be when trading the Swiss yen. So that concludes my analysis for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.